Hi my friend, my name is Moala and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn about search dialogue and it looks like this. You have some items here and search box and you can search for the items. For example, I can type F and then R or let's type R. Yeah, you see we have two items which has which they have R. And uh, this is very customizable. For example, we made that to left alignment. We changed the color of this one. We changed the color of highlighted text and other things. Let's learn how to do that. The first thing that I'm going to do is to activate XUI views and then defining one uh, variable for before x dialog and now it's time to initialize that and we can use it here sorry I forgot to type root here so we want to use template and search template here in this parameter. So let's define one search parameter. Actually, it's better to type it private. Private uh, search as before x search template. Let's see what we have. After initializing this, we can set items like this. Set items and it needs a list. So before using set item, I need to start one list. So I'm going to define one list and after initializing that, I can add some items to this list. For example, first item, by control D I can duplicate one line, second and third. Okay, now it's ready our list and I can add it and I can set items by this list. Okay, once this is ready, we can use it here, search, we don't need the OK button because we want to click on one item and it's like hitting on OK and no need for no button but cancel, we need that. As I said, hitting on one item, for example on this item, is like clicking on OK button, on Yes button. So we can check whether user clicked on one item or not this way. Deem one object as object. So I can store the result of this show, uh, search template inside this object and then I can wait for the result of this as I explained for you in previous discussions and once that is complete I can store the result as an integer in one variable which is R and then after that I can check if that R is positive answer I mean clicking on one item so is my response to this dialogue is positive. If that's the case, I want to get the result of this search template this way. Search dot selected item. Yeah, this way. And it can give me the result whether the user clicked on first, second, or third. And we can log it this way. 
Okay, now it's time to run the application and see the result. Okay, now my dialogue is ready and I have those three items here and one search box here. For example, I want to search for third T and then all the T are highlighted here and then the second letter H. So you see only this one is selected. And once I click on that, I can see that here. So far so good. And now I want to customize this dialogue, the size of that, the color of text and the text color here and other things. Let's see how to do it. The first thing that I want to tell you is to resize this dialogue. Maybe we can decrease the width of this dialogue or the height we can increase. How to do it? This way. Easily you can do, that was resize, yes, width. For example, width we can say 300 DIP and the height maybe 400. Okay. Now this is 300 DIP and 400 DIP for the height. Very nice. Easily you can change, uh, change the size. Very good. The first thing that we want to learn is to change the text color and the text background of this list. How to do it? Easily we can do something like this. Search dot custom background, custom list view, sorry. As you see, this is one custom list view. So what you see here is normal custom list view. So you can do whatever that you do with custom list view. And I have many other tutorials about working with custom list view. You can watch them to, you know, customize custom list view, but let's learn something very easy like changing the text color. So what was that default text color? Yeah, default text color. And the other thing that we can do, let's duplicate this default text uh, background color. So let's make it white, for example, white like this, and this one dark gray. Let's see. So this list, we wanna change that, the background to white and this one, you know, dark gray. Okay. Let's go back to previous code. The other thing that we want to learn is changing the alignment of this one. So the default alignment is center, horizontally and vertically. Uh, sorry, horizontally and vertically. That one, we can, you know, change that by designer label. And that is uh, you know, one label, we can change the gravity of that this way. And we can use gravity maybe left. And let's see. Okay, this is left, left top actually. The other way to change that is to store that inside one before X view. So we can Define one before X view. Before X view. And then we can use set alignment for before X view. Maybe that's a better way. Uh, set alignment. What was that? Yes. Text alignment. And vertical and horizontal. 
So if you want left and maybe middle or center. So vertically um, center, center and horizontally left. Oh my God, it needs to be capital. Sorry about that. Let's see the dialogue again. Yes, left and middle center. Okay. The other thing that we want to change is the color of that divider, which is here. We can change that, for example, to white this way. Search, custom list view. It has one scroll view, this one, scroll view inner panel. This is what we want. And we can define one color for that. For example, to white, the color of inner panel will be white. Okay, uh, now you see the divider is white. Okay, let's make it commented. What about changing the highlighted text? Once you type something, for example, F, this is the highlighted text. And we can change the color of this one and the color of this one. Let's see. Search text highlight color equal to XUI, for example, blue. So this is a highlighted text and the text above. Search dot search field dot text field dot text color and maybe yellow. Okay, so this one will be yellow and this one will be blue, as we said here. So as you see, this search template is very flexible and you can change it to any way that you like, but you need to know the way. And you can access all the views here, like the method that we talked about that in previous tutorial. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed in my panel, please subscribe in my channel. And if you liked my video, hit on that like button. Thank you very much.